Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create this pattern using Python. So I guess I have promised this one in the video second of our Python pattern series. Okay. So now let's quickly jump to our notebook to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our notebook. So our first task is to create a variable which will store the number of steps here. There you can see in the image, we are having five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And also the maximum number is also five. Okay, so you can write any number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any number. And this program will create the similar pattern for that number also. Okay, so... To take something different, let's take it so that it's created a big one. Okay. So first of all, we'll create a for loop. So for all those who aren't aware of how for loop works, the link will be provided below. Although I would insist you to watch that video after this one because I'll try my best to explain you how all the concepts used in this video are working. Okay. So stick in and I'll explain you. Okay. So for i in range 1 to a plus 1. Just a second, let me write, then I'll explain you. Okay. So first of all, this for loop is iterating through these values. Okay. So first, let's create the list which is generated by this range function. So the range function will generate a list of the starting value 1 and the ending value of a plus 1. Okay. So it will go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. It will not go to a plus 1 because in Python, the ending value is excluded. Okay, this is why we are writing a plus 1 here because the ending value is excluded and we want to create the pattern for the exact number. Okay, so this will create, this range function will create this list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then this for loop will iterate through each value. Okay. So what will happen is in first go, the value of i will be 1. Then again, the, y will, the value of i will be 2. Then the value will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So this is how a for loop works. It iterates through each value of the list or the sequence that is provided here. We are providing the range output, which is a list. And this range function works as it provides a list of the starting and ending value. It also has a third parameter, but we don't need here. So I'm not explaining it. Okay. So, okay. So our range, so uh, this is created. Let me comment this out. Otherwise, it will raise an error. Okay. So... Now we are going to create one more for loop. First of all, let me write, then I'll explain you for k in range, change the uh, variable name here. You can take any variable name. You can take here HR or whatever it is. HR is my initial. Okay. <laughs> so then we'll go from one to I plus one. Okay. The I, just a second, it's not capital. It's I, I plus one. Okay. So. First, let me write. Okay. First, let me write. Then I'll explain you. This will be k comma and is equal to this. Okay. So now let me explain you this and we'll understand it by going through each value. Okay. So first of all, this, this list is created by this range function. Okay. Then, then in the first iteration, the value of i is chosen to be one. Okay. So for k in range one, comma 2 because it is incremented by 2 so the k value will will only have the value 1 okay so this is why 1 is printed and this loop is completed this for loop is completed because the list created for this for loop was only 1 okay now what we need is a space after this one we don't want to write this in same line. If we run this code, then we'll see that uh, we are getting an error because my terminal is having some problem. Let me write through this command prompt. 
uh okay uh because <laughs> the uh, we written this list name here okay so let's run this again and there you can see that all the numbers are printed in the same line although this is following the same pattern but but it is printed in the same line we want it to be in the different line so what we'll do is now don't worry if you are not able to get how these numbers are printed i'm just explaining you what we'll do is after the completion of the second for loop we want to print a space here so we'll print a space here okay so this loop is completed and one is gone okay so now two is the value of i so so for k in range 1 2 3 because 2 plus 1 3 so this will be 1 comma 2 and again the k will iterate through this list and 1 2 will be printed okay then this pattern will follow once again here 2 will be lost 3 will be here so for k in range 1 comma 4 so so this will become 1 2 3 and then 1 2 3 will be printed with some spaces because there you can see we are having a space here okay then 4 will become 5 6 7 8 okay so this is how it's gonna work let me print and show you and this will not okay so this is giving the output i don't know what the error was okay so there you can see that this is the output that was expected this was for 5 this is for 8 okay so i guess you understand that how this program works if you are new to python and don't know that how this for loop and range function works then definitely it will be quite tricky for you so i insist you to watch this video again so that you can understand the concept and still if you're not able to understand the link of the detailed explanation of for loop and range function will be provided in the description. Okay, so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye.